Welcome. I'm John Titus for evalkits.com. In today's video segment, we'll take a look at this LCD development kit from Renesis. This is formally known as the Y LCD RSK 2456S. It's the liquid crystal development kit that uses the Renesis H8S 2456 microcontroller that can directly drive a liquid crystal display. In this case, the display in the kit is 480 by 272 pixels and it's a thin film transistor color LCD. So let's take a look at what we actually get in this kit. The kit includes this liquid crystal display board that's got a connection board as well as the liquid crystal display that has a touch screen overlay on it. You attach to this board the microcontroller card, which is a standard Renesis development system type card, and we'll connect these in a minute and show you how they work together. The kit also includes a very nice getting started guide. I'll explain a little bit more about what's in this guide and what you do with it as we get on to the demonstration. You get two CDs with this kit, one related specifically to the liquid crystal display drive by the microcontroller and the other the standard Renesis which the high performance embedded workshop tools. So you get uh, two CDs and there's a lot of documentation on these that get installed when you set up the demonstration program. The kit comes with an E10A development pod that connects to the microcontroller with one of these flat flexible cables and connects to a host PC with a USB cable. You also get a standard power supply with a series of plugs for different international locations. The kit includes this two line by 16 character liquid crystal display but it's not used in the demonstrations it's kind of a standard device that Renesis includes with many of their microcontroller development kits. So I'll take a second and set this up and give you a demonstration to show you exactly what this kit can do. I've attached the microcontroller development board to the board that has the liquid crystal display and the touch control screen. When I plug this into the external power supply that comes with the kit, you'll see a Renesis splash screen followed by a colored screen that provides six buttons. By pushing these buttons, you can go to demonstrations that allow you to change colors, uh, see a simple animation, and do other things that demonstrate the capabilities of the display as well as the touch screen. We'll give you some close-up images here so you can see better exactly what goes on on the screen. When I apply power to the kit, you'll see the Renesis splash screen show up, followed a few seconds later by the demonstration that allows you to do things such as use a slider to change the colors in this section of the screen, uh, add a little bit of red and add a little bit of blue. You can see the color change, so we'll drop the red back down here and we'll highlight the blue and we'll highlight the green and you can see again the color change. You can use the back button to go back to the demonstrations and we'll do a countdown now that allows us to enter a value and start the countdown. Now I'm going to disconnect power and set the board aside for a minute. One of the nice things about this kit, it comes with a very good getting started guide. This little guide provides all the steps you need to go from doing what I just did, the simple demonstration that comes with the kit, to actually building that from the code and putting it back into the memory on the microcontroller board and running the same demonstration again. Uh, the little guide is well written, it's detailed, it's got a lot of information, and you shouldn't have any problem following the instructions. There's a lot of documentation with one exception that comes with this kit and I'll tell you about that exception in a minute. I'll just go through them fairly briefly for you. You get a direct drive LCD demo application note for the H8S, H8SX microcontrollers and this has a lot of information about the program structure, the calculation of touchscreen positions, uh, the demonstration platform resources, a lot of good information in this application note. Renesis has also put together a graphic API so that you can work at a high level when you want to program this type of application. 
Keep in mind that this screen is not made for real-time video. It's for a situation, perhaps a kiosk or a vending machine, where you have fairly static screens that come up, and you can push buttons and go to other screens, but it's not the kind of thing where you might display an EKG waveform in real-time or an oscilloscope trace in real-time. It's just not aimed at that type of end use. Documentation also includes the Direct Drive LCD Design Guide User's Manual. The nice thing about this manual is it provides a list of all the macros that are used within the demonstration software. So you learn not only what is the macro, you find a description, you know what units you use, whether it's hertz or lines or dots or on or off or percent and it also lists the demo location for that particular macro where it's used. Each of those macros has a set of information that includes the format, the parameters, their sample code here, their properties and what it does. So it's very nice documentation to have. The one thing that the kit lacks though is something that goes beyond the basic demonstration that I showed you and says all right, here's a basic bitmap. We're going to take that, we're going to convert it to the S record format, download it, and give you the very basic fundamental steps you need to get that to display on the LCD. Unfortunately, there's nothing there except the basic demonstration, and it is a complicated piece of software. It uses the free RTOS real-time operating system and a lot of code. If you sit down and try and decipher that, I think you're going to give up. So that, that's the one caveat I want you to know about, is that you do not have any basic, simple demonstrations, and there are none in the documentation. Renesis may rectify that situation, but at this point, that there's just nothing there beyond the basic demo that comes with a kit. Now when you get ready to use this and do things with it, there's a jumper that you change to put it in debug mode and then you plug in the debug pod, in this case it's one of the standard E10A pods that connects through a USB cable to a host computer. So this is all hooked up now in a, a programming type situation, ready to go if we wanted to download code. The example that's presented in the user guide is basically to reload the demonstration program that I just showed you onto the board. Unfortunately, it's sometimes difficult to tell, well, did I really de download that code or am I simply running the code that was there? So again, it would be nice to have some simple demonstrations, perhaps even just drawing a line across the screen or making a grid or putting a number on the screen, something that shows you that you have control of it and explains the basic steps you need to put something on the kit and get it to show up properly on the LCD. Other than that, I think it's a nice kit. I just wish it had a little bit more documentation so that you could get started at a low level.